Somewhere in the world, a woman is diagnosed with breast cancer. We all wish we had more time. It's time to end breast cancer. I think we've come an enormously long way since I started and joined the campaign, which was 23 years ago. Back then, when I joined, Evelyn Lauder, who started the breast cancer campaign, um, asked me if I'd help. And I said, of course, to, to do what? And she said, well, all over the world, women are dying of breast cancer, but nobody's talking about it. And I want to change that. What do you think you're going to accomplish? I'd like to be able to save lives. At that time, Evelyn had just invented, co-invented the pink ribbon with a lady called Alexandra Penny. Um, and before that time, there, you know, there was no pink ribbon and no one, no one talked about breast cancer, certainly not on a news show or in a glossy magazine with the word breast cancer ever have been said. And if you look at today, the change has been absolutely remarkable. So from an awareness point of view, you know, it's, it's gone into the stratosphere. Right back in the beginning, when Evelyn started this campaign, she was very much inspired by the AIDS activists because they had a red ribbon and everybody was talking about AIDS. There were unbelievable people fundraising and awareness raising. And she took some inspiration from them when she created the pink ribbon. At the beginning, Evelyn decided not to um, put a copyright on the pink ribbon on the particular design that she did, this one here that I'm wearing, because she wanted the world to use it. She didn't want to hoard it and keep it just for us. Um, and what an amazing thing that was, because that pink ribbon is, is everywhere this October. The Empire State Building has been a very significant part of our journey on the, with the breast cancer campaign because when we started the Global Illumination Programme, which was to light beautiful buildings pink all over the world to get people talking about breast cancer, um, the very first building we lit in the year 2000 was the Empire State Building. So it's amazing every year when we go back there. Um, it brings back just great memories and it shows us how far we've come on our journey.